Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the San Diego Comic Con exclusives. So every year, at, you guessed it, San Diego Comic Con, Magic the Gathering, Hasbro actually sells these. So it's not Wizards of the Coast, it's not your local game store. You can either get it from a booth or buy it online. Recently, people have not really enjoyed them. I think the artwork has been not that great. Today we have five beautiful pieces, I believe all by Teresa Nielsen. So they picked one of their most iconic artists to go ahead and do this set. They look very beautiful. And for $99, so you can get them at $99 at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm sure there's a limit of two per customer. But if you go on Hasbro, there's a you can program Google Alerts to tell you when they post it. You can go ahead and buy these. It's getting harder and harder to flip them. It used to be you buy them for $99 and you sell them for $4.99. And still, you can sell them for a margin, but those margins have long since decreased. I think there's more supply of this. There's obviously enough demand, but the supply of these cards are also very, very high. Now, so we're going to go over the exact five Planeswalkers that are going to be, quote, reprinted with new beautiful foil artwork. For $99, this is definitely a buy. I would expect Hasbro website to be a slightly more expensive, like a $129. And if we gauge it by last year, last year there was way more supply and it was on the website for a long time. So it didn't sell out within the first five minutes like they used to. I think the supply is way up. So we have Gideon of Trials with Sarah. We have Jace Cunning Castaway. Liliana Untouched by Death. Chandra Torch of Defiance. That's a good one. That's the one that I would keep my eye on. And Nissa Vital Force. And each of them has, you know, a stained glass of I don't know why Lily has Nicol Bolas. I would expect like a demon or something. But Gideon has Sarah. Jace has Urza. Pretty sure Chandra, that is Jayard Ballard. And Nissa has Fer Feralise. So very, a good allude to old school. The artwork is very good on this one. And I, <laughs> it's a small thing that I like. I like the fact that the sticker is not silver. It's actually gold. I don't know, I buy a lot of sports products that like they make it in a gold bar and I'm like, oh yeah, gold. So if you um, collect basketball or football cards, you know what I'm talking about like uh, Panini Eminence, Panini, like everything is gold plated now. So I do like that concept for these cards, having a gold sticker. I think as a set, I definitely wouldn't mind a play set of these for 400. That's very reasonable. Chandra Torch of Defiance sees some modern playability, and that's why the set, I mean, I think a large majority of the set's price will be dependent on Chandra. Now, is this the premier foil Chandra? I think I always like original foils best, but uh, this one is pretty good, and you know that it will see some modern play. Definitely something to keep your eyes on, especially if you can buy this cheap enough. You can buy a single version of this. And it hits a price point where it's like $25, $35. It's pretty much an all-in. Move your chips all in. So Liliana, Untouched by Death. Gorgeous artwork. All these are very good. But this is very limited to zombies. Uh, one of the reasons that I personally am not uh, super hyped on Liliana. I don't remember the last time that Liliana did so poorly. Uh, it must have been a long time ago. Maybe on Corset or something like that. But this Liliana is best in a zombie deck and very limited in what you can do with it. And the minus two doesn't even work unless you have zombies. Which is kind of like, I mean, she does produce zombies, but that's not what you want to do. Jace Cunning Castaway. This one I expect will be one of the cheaper ones, if not the cheapest one. Jace has seen very little play. Uh, in any format, even standard. And typically when you don't see any standard play, it means that you're not strong enough for modern or legacy. 
Needless to say, it does have Urza, it does have Jace. I mean, it is very iconic as a card. But this might be interesting. So I'm interested in two. The most expensive card in the set and the least expensive card in the set. That's I think that's where the margins are. I think Chandra may see more modern play. Uh, she sees a small amount as a one of or two of, but she's very strong. And then Gideon of Trials. So apparently this is Sarah and the background, which is kind of fascinating. I did not realize she looked like this, but okay. So Gideon of Trials, I think I'm pretty sure Jace, unless there's like a real collectible market for Jace, he'll be the cheapest one. Lily should also be cheap. Um, Gideon should be relatively cheap. Nissa might be like cheap as well. And then Chandra will be the only expensive one. Overall, for $99, definitely a buy. And if you can get it on Hasbro online, you can make a Google alert to tell you. But if last year's an indicator, they had a lot of supply of this. Just oodles of supply, even on the website. Again, it's not Wizard of Coast that sells this. It's not your local game store. There's two ways to get this. Oh, I guess the you could buy from a reseller, right, at a higher cost. But there's two ways to organically get this from the Hasbro website or from going to San Diego Comic Con yourself. Anyway, that is it. Let me know if you guys are excited. I think the artwork is fantastic. And this is a way you can appeal to uh, players who want to spend a little bit more money without isolating players who don't. Is just print these premium products for the people who want to spend more money and then plummet the prices of the other cards for the non-premium version. Anyway, bye guys.